I brought my ukulele and I thought we would do our good morning song. I've been waiting. a lot and right now it seems like there's a lot of worrying going on in our world with COVID-19 and not being able to go to school and not being able to see some of the people that we want to see so I've been thinking about worrying so I have a fun don't worry song for you today and then I'll read you about cotton wool Colin all right <laughs> Australia and cotton wool is what we call cotton balls here. Once there were 10 baby mice. For mice they were big and bold and bouncy. All except for Colin. Colin was the smallest of mice. He was very very small even for a mouse. I love this. Look at all those mouse babies having fun on the trampoline. And there's little Colin with his teddy bear. His mother didn't worry about his brothers or sisters. They were big enough to look after themselves. But she worried about Colin Smalley. She was afraid he might get hurt. She made him sit indoors quietly. She wouldn't let him climb or run or jump in case he fell. Look at that, I love it. She's holding onto his tail so he can't run away. He couldn't go out in spring in case he got wet in summer, in case he got hot, or in autumn, in case a chestnut fell on his head. By winter, Colin was bored. He wanted to go out into the big, wide world. But his mother said, no, the world is too big and too wide for you, Smalley. You wrapped Colin up in cotton wool, said his grandma. Oh, what a good idea, thought his mother. And that is exactly what she did. Look at her chasing him. She wrapped him up round and round and round so only his feet stuck out. He was cotton wool Colin. Oh my goodness, look, there's his nose. And look at all of his brothers and sisters looking at him like, huh. At last he was allowed out, all wrapped up in cotton wool, safe from rain and sun and snow. I don't think he can even see. If he fell, he would have a soft landing. If anything fell on him, he wouldn't feel it. He was as safe as safe could be. Or was he? Oh, woof. oh look, a snowball, laughed the little boy. He picked Colin up and threw him, splash, 
into the freezing river. Some of Colin's cotton wool came off. Oh, look, a meringue, quacked a duck, and it chased him. Peck, peck, peck. More cotton wool came off. Colin swam and swam. He climbed onto the bank, all bedraggled. Oh, look, a fat white rabbit, said the hungry fox, and it chased him. Snap, snap, snap. All the cotton wool came off. Colin ran and ran. He jumped down a hole and he hid. The fox went away. Colin's smolly dried out in the sun. He skipped back home, feeling very large. His mother was horrified. Colin, where is your cotton wool? She shrieked. Anything could happen to you. Everything did happen to me, he whooped. I got wet, I got cold, I got pecked, I got chased, but I swam, and I ran, and I jumped, and Mama, I'm alive! I survived without my cotton wool. May I go out to play again tomorrow? <sighs> His mother took a deep breath and said, <sighs> Yes, if you must. Take care. Take a coat. Be good. Have fun. Love you, Smalley. Colin went out into the world. Sometimes he got scared. And sometimes he got hurt. But oh, it was worth it. And if you look back at this picture, who do you see sitting there? See a big old cat. And then look at this next page. What does he have? He took the collar with the bell off the cat. He must have gotten very brave. So I love that story about being brave and not being too nervous and just trusting that we can take care of whatever comes our way. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon. Bye.